It's the Story Time Phoenix Show. We are ready to have some fun. Come on, come on, come everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Story Time Phoenix Show. Oh, hey guys. Do you love to exercise? I just love to exercise. Stretching our muscles and moving our bodies is an awesome way to stay in shape. Like the character in today's story. Check it out. Today's story is, I Love to Exercise. Written by Phoenix Hawkins and illustrated by Courtney Collins. It's fun to run outside in the sun with pink hats on poodles and housewives in plum. Cars are honking, I must be so cute in my polka dotted socks and my lime jogging suit. The air is so fresh, like lemon sorbet. I feel like a fairy in an ice cream parade. My arms fly high and my legs kick straight. One, two, three, four, can I make it to eight? I bend and I stretch and I hop like a cricket, leap like a lion and speed like a ticket. I'm a track star, a boxer. I race the fastest cars. I have so much strength, I can throw a corn dog to Mars. I love to exercise. I feel fit as a muscle. I can lift more weights than my fifth cousin Russell. I can hit a baseball clear to New York, crush a spoon with my pinky, and bend a whole fork. I exercise like a champion who's the best in the universe. I have the healthiest heart in the world. Just ask the school nurse. That's much better, good first serve. At the end of the day, I'm as beat as a drum. But I'll do it again tomorrow because today was so much fun. Do you exercise? Joke of the day. Hey, funny friends. See if you can guess the answer. Why didn't Cinderella make the basketball team? That's right, you got it. She ran away from the ball. <laughs> the travel book. Around the world, we live as one. Let's travel the globe and have some fun. Liberia. Liberia is located on the largest continent in the world. Mother Africa. It's home to the giant forest hog, the largest wild member of the pig family. Sound of the day. Which of these pictures makes this sound? Let's hear the sound one more time. Did you guess? That's right! The bell in the middle makes this sound. Wordplay. Can you say each letter as I lay it on the page? L. U. N. G. E. This spells lunge. A lunge is an exercise you can use to stretch your legs. Meditative moment. Keeping our bodies and minds healthy adds joy to the planet and to those around us. Eating healthy foods and spending time in nature adds peace to our day. Today's affirmation is, I am healthy. Now, let's take two deep breaths way down deep into our tummies. And close our eyes.
Anytime you're feeling worried or sad, you can step away and take some time for yourself to breathe. What story do you see? The Fancy Giraffe and His Family Jaren the Giraffe loved his shiny black top hat and his cotton white jacket with its lime green bow. But what he loved even more was his wife and his baby calf. One day, Jaren and his family decided to put on their fanciest clothes to enjoy a beautiful sunny day eating brunch in their backyard. The end. Now, look at the picture and make up your own story. Creative Corner. Pathway to Poetry Fall Poem Leaves glide slowly, fall to the ground, and crunch under feet that jump all around. Orange scarves blowing, flow in the wind, crisp apple pie shared with a friend. Billowing steam from hot chocolate mugs, families and friends sharing genuine hugs. Book Recommends Our book recommends for this episode are The Busy Body Book, A Kid's Guide to Fitness by Lizzie Rockwell. Lizzie Rockwell explains how your bones and muscles, heart and lungs, nerves and brain all work together to keep you on the go. Kids walk and skate and tumble through these beautifully illustrated pages. Experts agree that we need to make physical activity a lifelong habit. You can find out more about Lizzie at lizzyrockwell.com. And Breathe Like a Bear, written by Kyra Wiley and illustrated by Ani Betts. In this book, you will find a collection of 30 mindfulness meditations and exercises to help you feel calm, focused, and energized wherever you are. With easy to follow movements and breathing exercises, you can learn techniques for managing your body, breath, and emotions. You can find out more about this book at rhcbooks.com. There are many things we can do to strengthen our minds and bodies, like a lunge, meditation, reaching way up in the sky, touching our toes, or bending our knees is a great way to stay in tip-top shape for playtime. Can you think of creative ways to exercise? Well, I'm Storytime Phoenix. Until next time, I'll be holding you in my heart. <laughs>